guys, this is Kelly. I'm back with another process video. This layout is for the Wild Hair Kits, and this is actually the first layout that I made with my October kit. And I am scrapbooking this uh, picture from a wedding that I was in last year. It was actually about the same time last year. And this is me and one of my good friends. Um, we have this thing, and um, th that's actually um, what this layout is going to be about. We have this thing where we dress alike, and it is really funny. We went to anesthesia school together, and we consisted of the blonde row, and we were the blonde row for many reasons. Um, we both can be kind of ditzy. We um, both, you know, obviously had blonde hair, and it was just the two of us in our little row, and we just, you know, had a really good time during a very stressful uh, season in our life. So um, my friend is also a big floral lover as well. So this paper from Maggie Holmes just is perfect for so many reasons. Uh, number one, we're wearing gray and I'm going to get to that in just a second. And we both love flowers. We both are pretty girly. So it just felt like this was a great pattern paper to use. I just really like it when things make sense on my layouts and when I can use things that have more than just a meaning of, you know, a pretty paper. It just, it really reminds me of my friend. So I am going to decide to trim this pattern paper down and make it a big part of my layout. I'm just trying to go through my supplies at this time and figure out you know exactly how I want to do it. So I'm going to trim this paper down to four inches wide by 12 inches because I definitely want to be able to see these roses. They're just absolutely gorgeous and I think this is maybe one of my new favorite pattern papers from Maggie Holmes. But I say that and I will get another one and you know that's just how it is with me and I'm okay with that. So my friend and I um, Gosh, I've known her since maybe 2004, and like I said, we were called the Blonde Row, and we would dress alike, and it was crazy. Like, I would wear a brown shirt and light blue capri pants to school, and she would come in with the same thing, and people would joke, they would laugh, they'd be like, are you two planning your wardrobe? No. I had a yellow sweater and I wore the yellow sweater in one day and she was wearing, you know, the same color butter yellow. Um, did it with coral pink. We did it with black and white. Any kind of color combination you can think of that would look good on us, we did and we would wear it at the same time without planning the wardrobe. So it was just one of those funny things. We were like, you know, this is funny. Uh, it's kind of crazy. And we started calling our, ourselves, you know, like sisters from another mister because it just seemed like we were. And, you know, like I said, she's a good friend. We get along well. We have some of the same sense of humor. And we were in this wedding together last year. And for the rehearsal dinner, I still haven't scrapbooked that photo yet. And I will, but um, we wore a black dress with purplish pink flowers. Um, it's not the same dress and we both had on, you know, very, very similar dresses. And so we just kind of laughed and chalked it up to, you know, that's just us. And this photo was taken on the rehearsal dinner or not the rehearsal dinner, the Sunday brunch afterwards. And we both came in wearing um, gray, uh, tops and you know dark skinny jeans and I just had to laugh I'm like you know we don't talk about it like I said but we end up doing the same thing time after time so this layout is going to be about how we are sisters from another mister and I'm actually going to title it sisters so I don't have a sister in real life but this girl is probably as close as I'm going to get and it's just so funny because you know, like I said, it was one of those things where you just, we even cracked ourselves up because we just laughed at the fact that this entire weekend we were together and 
we dressed alike. I mean, obviously Saturday we did because we were both in the wedding party, but just, you know, Friday and Sunday dressed alike. So I thought this would be the perfect layout to make, um, just telling that story. So that black and black and white, that gold and white vellum is from the Pink Paisley Auburn Lane as well. And I've just fussy cut a few of the flowers out. I thought that they would be beautiful and I love the way that they turned out. And I'm just going to build a couple of clusters either, um, well, around the page. I'm going to actually have three different clusters. I'm just haven't figured it quite out yet, but I'm just trimming some of the edges off and I have that's pretty much how that that cluster around the photo is going to end up. So at this point, I want to figure out um, what I need to balance the large florals. I feel like every bit of the action is going on the right hand side and that the left hand side just needs a little something. So my first thought is I can bring over a little bit of black and I cannot remember what that quote says. It was something that worked well with this layout, but I thought maybe that that would be part of the cluster and see how that worked. And I had this little half of a tag sitting on my desk and I thought maybe I could get that to work on this page. It already had the gold and white twine um, through the reinforcer. So I you know, wanted to see if that would work and it ends up not making it on the page. So I'm gonna apologize. I left my door open and Romeo is meowing. So if you can hear him, I'm sorry. He has uh, become a lot more vocal in his older age and being a solitary cat now. And he also um, seems to think that it's time to eat just about all the time. And it's getting closer to dinner time, but it's not there and he thinks it is. So um, hopefully he will kind of stay quiet for a little while longer. So at this point, I'm going through my die cuts. I know that, like I said, I wanted to put something at the bottom of the page, and I'm thinking that maybe I will use a, a house because I've said, you know, you know, in my and in my journaling, I do talk about how we used to say that we were sisters from another mister, and I thought that the house would be good because it meant family. But I ended up taking the house off and I'm gonna use a smaller house um, as a puffy sticker around my journaling. I just felt like the house was too big for that cluster. And, you know, I felt like the black phrase was just a little too long. I wasn't liking the way that that looked. Um, I'm moving around that beautiful puffy sticker. And, you know, I just, I, I like the way that the layout is coming together. It's just, there's something that's not quite right and I wanna fix it. So that's why I just keep on shuffling things around. This is my normal um, MO when I am scrapping. Right now, my life is so crazy busy that I'm not, you know, I used to have like dedicated days that I would scrapbook, but now between working and running around with Emily, even though she's driving now, um, and then just things with my mom, and there's just, you know, a lot of other things going on, my, my free time is just not so free right now. So, you know, I'm when I go actually to scrapbook, it's not exactly the easiest thing. You know, sometimes it feels like I have to, you know, maybe cut out a few more things, um, move things around a little bit more, go through my die cuts one extra time or two extra times, walk away from the layout. And, you know, while it can be frustrating, it just, you know, it's that muscle memory, I think, and um, it'll come back, it's just not there right now. So like I said, I'm just moving things around. I am going to use that gold vellum and that lower um, cluster as well. And I just used a little bit of the um, ATG tape and just put a little bit underneath and I was afraid that you'd be able to see it, but you don't end up being able to see it. So that's a good thing. So I went ahead and I took everything off. I typed out my journaling and I went to the sewing machine and I stitched in gold thread down the pattern paper just for another little um, touch of gold. And I am just gonna put out my journaling. I wanted to make sure that it would have room to fit 
um, underneath the photo and that it would look good and that the title wouldn't get lost but it wouldn't be too big or too small so um, I, I spare you watching some of that but that's kind of what I was thinking when I'm you know moving everything around just trying to find a nice nice balance so again I cut some of this out because I had the TV on as I was gluing down the um, journaling strips and you know it just took me way too long to um, put those down so I am going to stamp the date on that label down at the bottom and I'm going to pull some of these puffy stickers off and put some of the hearts around the page as well you know I don't always use hearts but I use hearts quite a bit and I just felt like you know besides being a nice uh, generic embellishment that it works well for you know pages when you're talking about family or talking about a good friend so don't be afraid to put hearts on a page just you know like if you're not talking about your spouse or your own kids you know I think that it works so one of the last things I am going to do is I'm going to put some sequins on the page and I really like these dark burgundyish red sequins and I thought that it might be a good accent to help you know pull out some of this pretty red color um, that's present in the uh, flowers but it just it was too much so I am going to take those off and I'm going to replace them with a really it's almost like a champagne color sequin and I love it um, I got these from Spiegel Mom Scraps last year and I only got one pack and I have to say this pack has been my absolute favorite color combination hands down and I am just mad at myself that I didn't get more than the one pack because when I go through these I'm going to be sad because I, I like I said I use them all the time they're just that um, versatile for me. So I finally decide I'm going to stick that pink flower up in that top cluster and at this point I feel like the flowers are balanced and like I said I'm just going to switch out the sequins and that's going to be it. I do have some close-ups at the end um, where you can see all of the beautiful um, pink paisley auburn lane. Oh my gosh this collection is just exquisite and I just I love the way that this page turned out and it just goes to show that you can you know really make uh, different types of pages with this collection so thanks so much for joining me I hope to see you guys soon I will um, actually be in Orlando this weekend so I'm really excited Emily has a big tournament in Orlando so um, hopefully I will have um, another process video for you next week if not it will be soon so I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.